Hi everyone. Japan is a country that needs no introduction. However, for our purpose, let's say that Japanese history begins in the so-called Azuka period, when the city of Azuka was the de facto capital of Japan. During the Azuka period, the first history books were written, the Koki, Tennoki, and Teiki. None of these books do longer exist. However, data from these books was preserved in later works, such as the Kojiki and Nihon Shoki. Precisely from the Nihon Shoki, we get our first reference to the coinage of Japan. In this work, we find the law dating 683, stating that from now on, it will be mandatory the use of copper coins instead of the silver coins, Mumong Gin Sen. Some silver discs with a hole in the center have been unearthed in some 15 different sites, especially in the Kinki area, today Kyoto's prefecture. These are thought to be the Mumongin Sen. However, these are rather silver ingots than true coins. So, what about the mention of bronze coinage? Well, this bronze coinage could be imported Chinese coins. However, in 1998, archaeologists working in the Asukaike ruins unearthed a few coins and fragments of bronze coins and casting leftovers after the Chinese casting technique. These coins, known as Fuhon Sen by the inscription they show, are thought to be the bronze coins referenced in the law and therefore the first proper Japanese coins. Prior to this amazing discovery, Japanese monetary history began officially in the year 708 AD. That year, a load of copper from a newly discovered mine in the county of Chichibugori, province of Musashi, was presented to the court. To commemorate this, the first discovery of copper in Japan, the name of the era was officially changed by decree of Empress Genmei to Wado, meaning Japanese copper, and the new coin bearing the name of the new era was issued beginning on August the 29th of that year. The Wado Kaichin was traditionally considered the first Japanese coin. It was issued over a long period, some 50 years, so many varieties exist, including a gold and a silver version. But this was a period of strong Chinese influence. In 710, just two years after the introduction of the Wado Kaichin, the imperial court was moved to Nara, the new capital, which was modeled after Chang'an, that of the Chinese Tang Dynasty. This opens the so-called Nara period, the Wado Kaiching is also clearly modeled after the Kaijuan Tombao, the main coin during most of the Tang Dynasty. It also has a similar weight, one Japanese monme, equivalent to one Chinese Tian, some 3.75 grams. And they were cast after the advanced Chinese technique of making impressions with pattern or seed coins in a sand mold. The Wado Kaiching was the first of what the Japanese numismatists have always called the 12 antique coins that were introduced successively in the following 250 years. Each new coin replaced the previous one with a profit for the imperial treasure, often at the rate of 1 to 10, one new coin for 10 of the other coins. After the Wado Kaichin, which was made by Chinese artisans working in Japan, the following earlier Sen were designed by noted Japanese calligraphists. However, as the copper mines dried up and the alloy became increasingly degraded, no calligraphist of notice would lend his handwriting for the design of the new coins. So the last of the 12 antique coins became gradually poorer, smaller and cruder. The last of these 12 antique coins was introduced in AD 958, exactly 250 years after the Wado Kaichin. By the time when copper mines in Japan were exhausted, excellent bronze coins were being made in China and imported into Japan. During the medieval period, Japan, very much like some European countries, underwent a process of political fragmentation into feudal states, quite often at war against each other. Sometimes a powerful samurai clan managed to impose its hegemony, establishing 
a military dictatorship or shogunate, the emperor becoming a mere figurehead. For over 500 years, Japanese trade relied on imported Chinese coins and locally made cast copies of imported coins such as Chinese, Vietnamese and also of the 12 antique coins. These various imitations are generally called Bitasen, a term that we could translate as a miso However, coins. as most of them are not official issues, we will not enter in much detail on this category. However, above all, commodity money circulated in Japan in the form of rice, silk rolls, etc. Now, in the 20th year of Oye era, that is 1413, a Chinese junk got ashore near the village of Sagami. When the shogunate sent inspectors to the ship, they found a large quantity of the new bronze coin introduced by Ming Emperor Yongle the year before, which they confiscated. This coin, Yongle Tongbao, translated into Japanese as Eiraku Tsuho, was a superior workmanship and was no doubt massively imported from China to Japan in the following years. By 1573, it had displaced nearly all other coinages in Japan and was the only coin accepted for payment of taxes. The celebrated samurai leader, Oda Nobunaga, first unifier of Japan, chose the Araku Tsuho as his personal mon or crest, as you can see here in his banner and his tsuba, the hand guard of his personal sword. But though there were attempts to introduce a bronze coinage under Nobunaga's successor, Toyotomi Hideyoshi, and the early Tokugawa shoguns, these were a complete failure. The Battle of Sekigahara on October 21, 1600, marks the rise of the Tokugawa clan that three years later became shoguns of Japan. Twelve years later, in 1615, with the annihilation of the Toyotomi clan, the Tokugawa shoguns consolidated their power, inaugurating a period of two and a half centuries of peace. This period is known as the Edo period, because Edo, which is today Tokyo, where the Tokugawa castle and residence was located, became the de facto capital of Japan. As a samurai were the nobility and the ruling class, they were officially the highest class in society. However, the Edo period was the longest time of peace in the history of Japan. So the merchants, that were officially regarded as the lowest social class, were in fact the most important people. For they were rich, and the superiority of the samurai became as fake as the wooden swords they had to carry because they were so poor that they couldn't even afford a real katana. So, trade and money are to be very important in the Edo period. However, in 1603, the Tokugawa Shogun introduced a policy called Sakoku, literally locked country. All trade and exchange with China, the Netherlands and Vietnam, which were the only countries regarded as relevant, was carried from the port of Nagasaki in restricted areas. Actually, for the trade with the Dutch, an artificial island called Dejima was built, since the Dutch were not allowed to come ashore and mix with the populace. In the interior of Japan, power was still fragmented in many fiefs under the authority of daimyos, but these were closely watched by the shogun, who required the daimyos to spend six months in their possessions and the other six months in Edo. Of course, in this period of 250 years of peace, Japan saw an impressive development in the demographic, economic and cultural domain. In Takugawa, Japan, as in many other places and periods, each kind of coin had a specific use and they were produced in completely different kinds of mints. While bronze or rather base metal coins were cast in the Chinese tradition, Japan had some silver and, above all, gold mines and gold and silver coins were manufactured following local techniques. From medieval times, gold was circulated in Japan in the form of dust, being weighed in each transaction. The basic unit being the ryo or ounce, equivalent to 10 monme, 
37.5 grams. But in 1585, Toyotomi Hideyoshi introduced a huge gold coin, an ovoid plate measuring some 15 centimeters long and weighing 44 monme, some 165 grams, called the Oban King or Gold Oban. Initially, it was made of 73% gold and 23% silver, but its face value was a little less than half its weight, 10 rio or ounces. The Oban was during the Edo period the largest Japanese denomination, but it was only used as a ceremonial gift for the nobility. Ieyasu, the first Tokugawa shogun, put all the mines under his control and in 1601 issued another gold plate coin, the Koban, worth one ryo, one ounce, that is one tenth of the Oban. This coin saw actual circulation, although this weight and fineness gradually declined until the year 1860. This series of prints from Edo period show the manufacturing process of Koban and the Kobanza or Kinza, the mint for gold coins. There were three such mints in Kyoto, Edo and Savo. The gold alloy was hammered flat in the shape of plates, then cut in regular shapes, then hammered over an iron tatami and then chiseled to give them their peculiar surface. Then, after quality control, stamped with the control mint marks with a Kiri crest. In the case of the Yoban, each coin was additionally hand signed with ink by the director of the mint. Yashu also introduced another gold coin, the Bu, worth a quarter of a real, and later the Shu was introduced, worth a quarter of the Bu. Parallel to the Kinza, the mint for gold coins, mints for silver coins called Ginza also opened in Kyoto and from 1612 also in Edo, which is present-day Tokyo, where the district where the silver mint operated still bears its name, Ginza. Initially, silver coins were of a regular shape, the so-called Chogin, long silver, with a nominal weight 43 monme. But in practice, their weight was irregular, so they had to be weighed in each transaction. For this reason, smaller silver coins, called Mameitagin, silver beans, were also struck to adjust the weight. Both Chogin and Mameitagin were made of the base silver, quite often billion in some periods. But in 1765, year 5 of Meiwa era, silver coins struck in base silver with a fixed weight of 5 monme were introduced. These coins were overvalued at 12 to the Rio, so people did not accept them and they failed. However, in 1772, new coins were minted in silver with a fixed value of 2 shu. With a silver purity of nearly 98%, these coins were worth half a gold bu or an eighth of a gold Rio. These were followed later by one shu silver coins. Since Japan has relatively more gold than silver, gold was originally undervalued in Japan. However, as more and more silver came into commerce, gold coins became increasingly alloyed, and some denominations started to be replaced by silver. So, from 1837, the Bu, or Quarter Rio, was finally minted in silver. However, small debased gold coins continued to be minted until the end of the system. Until 1853, the ratio of gold to silver was 1 to 5 in Japan and 1 to 16 in the rest of the world. These contrasting rates show how much Japan was isolated from the rest of the world under the Sakoku during Edo period. Now let's look at the bronze coinage. In the second year of the Kanei era, that is 1625, a merchant from the city of Mito, Sato Shikuse, obtained permission from the shogun to cast a new coin, bearing the inscription corresponding to the current era, Kanei Tsuho. Ten years later, with a growing population and trade, thanks to the extended period of peace, the government noted the need of a standard bronze coin to carry out everyday transactions 
all over Japan. Accordingly, in 1636, the private mint was closed and official mints were opened in Shiba, Asakusa in Musashi province, and Sakamoto in Nomi province to officially cast Kanei Tsuho coins. These were joined the following year by Mito Hitachi, Sendai Riguzen, Yoshida Mikawa, Matsumoto Shinano, Takada Ichigo, Okayama Bizen, Hagi Nagato, and Takeda Bungo, and from 1639 Inomiya Suruga. In all, a dozen mints officially cast these coins until 1640, when production was officially halted by the Shogun. But 12 years later, there was a shortage of coins. So, the following year, three mints were opened. Keninji in Yamashiro in 1653, Kutsukaya in Suruga, and Torigo in Musashi, both in 1656. The coins had a face value of one mon, and were circulated at the rate of 4,000 for one ryo, or ounce. So one bu was equal to 1,000 of these, and one shu to 250. The inscription reads from up to down and from right to left. So Kanei Tsuho means current coin of the Kanei era. Yet coins continued to be minted with this inscription, as we shall see, up to 1868, the end of Edo period, and from a lot of different mints. So how can we date the issues and tell them apart? Japanese Kanei Tsuho coins may be attributed by period, precise year of introduction and mint by closely examining the calligraphy and checking the relevant literature. Here we cannot teach you the finest details, but I will teach you the basics. First, you need to know if your coin is a Kokanei Sen, Old Kanei, minted before 1668, or Shin Kanei Sen, New Kanei, minted after that day. You need to look at the left hand character, Ho. If the legs of this character are joined at the base of the box, it is a Kokanei Sen, or Old Kanei, with one single exception that we will explain later. In contrast, if the legs are separated, you have a Shin Kanei Sen, or New Kanei. To tell the mint and precise date is often quite more difficult, but we shall see a few examples later. A trade coin is not a coin intended for everyday payments, but for international trade. From 1641, the only port open to trade with Vietnam was also Nagasaki, and a medium of payment was needed. In 1659, the shogun authorized local merchants to cast trade coins with this purpose, providing that the coins should be of different type than the official currency of Japan, an Eitsuho, as they were only cast for export. Accordingly, they chose the design of an old Chinese coin, Yuan Feng Tombao, cast during the North Song Dynasty in 1078 to 85, which was minted in Nagasaki in large numbers and dozens of varieties from 1659 to 1685. In addition, some rarer types, also inspired in Song coins, but with different calligraphic styles, were also minted in Nagasaki. Here you can see some of these rare coins, often with creative calligraphic styles quite different to the original. New coinage started in the year 1668. The first type of this new coinage was cast in the village of Kamedo, just outside Edo, from recycled bronze from a giant statue of Buddha, the Daibatsu, that was destroyed by earthquake a few years before. This type is very easy to tell as it bears the character Bun in the reverse, which is the shortening of Kanbun, the era in which the coin was introduced. There is at least a dozen varieties of this coin. Other types are less easy to tell apart. Here you have a coin cast from 1700 of the Shi Chiho mint in Kyoto, and this other one from 1726 from the same mint, the more cursive writing. Another type easy to tell apart is this one cast at Sado, in the island of the same name, Sadoshima, with the character Sa in the reverse. Several of the largest gold mines of Japan were in this island, so there was for a while even a Kinza or gold mint in this town. 
There are several varieties and dates of this type. This other type was cast the Yuman Tsubo mint in Fukagawa from 1736 and it is known as Tora no Kan, which means Kan with tiger tail in Japanese, since the right leg of the top character, Kan, has this elongated wavy shape. Some other means, however, have also this style of calligraphy. Coin type that cannot be mistaken is the Takatsu Zen, cast at the Takatsu Mint in Osaka from 1741. It has the character Gen in reverse. This is because the issue was authorized the third year of Genbun era, 1738. But the coins were actually cast since Kampo era year one, that is 1741. Also cast in the same year, another coin that may be instantly identified by mint is the one issued by the mint of Ashio with the character Ashi in reverse. However, already since 1739, many mints have started casting iron coins, which was cheaper because a one man denomination was being minted at loss. Among the most common issues of Iron Mon, we have the issues of Sendai from 1739 with the character Sen in reverse, those from the mint of Ota in Kizakimura, Hitachi province, which come in two issues. The first, 1768, without any number, and the second, marked with the number 2, 1774. There is another iron issue that's worth mentioning. This one from the mint of Kosuge in Honjo, Edo. Cast in 1765, this coin is in the style of the old Kanai Tsuho, or Ko Kanai Sen, but could never be mistaken with the Ko Kanai Sen because it is made of iron. Even in such a late date, 1767, the mint of Nagasaki started minting bronze one mon coins. By that time, the one mon was cast everywhere else in iron, so the quality of the alloy of these coins is rather miserable. Most collectors prefer to represent this issue with a seed coin if they can afford it. As you can see, these have the character Naga in the reverse, an obvious reference to Nagasaki. Since Japanese currency began devaluating from the early 18th century, there were several attempts by the Bakufu or Shogunate to introduce multiple value sen that is, coins valued at multiple mon. The first attempt to introduce such multiple coins was made on the ninth month of the fifth year of Hoei era, that is, October 1708, which was the year of the last eruption of Mount Fuji. That year, a beautiful larger coin, Hohei Tsuho, was introduced. The inscription can be mistaken at first sight with the usual one, Kanei Tsuho. However, it reflects the current era name. And also, this coin bears stamps with additional characters to certify its value. Although, in my view, this is a beautiful coin, it had a high face value because it was worth 10 mon, while it weighed only as 3 mon. And therefore, it was a failure. The people did not accept it and was discontinued the following year. The next try to introduce multiple mon was more successful. In 1768, four mon coin was introduced. At that time, one mon coins were already cast in iron, and four mon was a relatively low value, so there was not such a scandal. The coins were initially cast in the Sendan Shiden mint of Fukagawa Edo. The first issue has in the reverse a design of 21 waves called Nami in Japanese. Compare this word with Tsunami. But the following year, it was replaced by a simplified version with just 11 Nami in the reverse. The type was suspended in 1788, cast in different alloys, finally in iron, with various mints from 1821 to 1869. The largest and highest denomination bronze coin of the period was the Tempo Tsuho, introduced in year 6 of Tempo era. 1835 with a face value of 100 mon. This coin has a, an oblong shape that reminds of the Koban. The reverse has the value above and the signature of the mint master below the hole, which is wide 
until 1845, when a new type with a more compact hull was introduced. This coin was cast until 1870, the end of this monetary system. The last coin introduced by the Bakufu was the Bunkyo Eiho, created in the third year of Bunkyo, that is 1863, with the idea of recycling the old brass one mon coins. This coin was also discontinued in 1870, with the reform that introduced the decimal yen. However, despite the short period during which it was cast, six main calligraphic varieties exist for this time. In June of the year 1853, Commodore Matthew Perry of the US Navy arrived with the fleet to force the opening of Japan to international trade. The arrival of the barbarians, as the Japanese will call them, was the beginning of the end of the Tokugawa rule, a period called the Bakumetsu, end of Bakufu. The first change, we can see it in the gold and silver coinage, which had a distorted ratio in Japan, causing the mass importation of Mexican dollars, cheap silver, and the outflow of Japanese gold. Consequently, the Koban had gradually fallen from the original 17.8 grams to less than 9, was drastically reduced in 1860 to 3.3 grams only, with 57% gold. And now the smaller gold coins will fall in the category of Electrum, with less than 23% gold, and also severally reducing weight. In contrast, huge quantities of silver one wu and one shu were minted, since Mexican pesos valued at three bu, and since 1859, counter stamped for that value were not readily accepted by the people. The 1868 Meiji Revolution or Restoration, which returned the effective power to the emperor after so many centuries of military rule, was the final blow to the shogunate and its obsolete monetary system. The following year, 1869, the imperial government of Japan acquired the coin machinery from the British after the failure of the Hong Kong Mint. Next year, the imperial mint of Osaka introduced a new decimal bimetallic coinage of gold and silver with bronze and later also copper nickel subsidiary coins as a small change. The yen equal to 100 sen and a thousand rin. And now, concurrently with the official coins issued by the central authority of the Shogun, we should make at least a short mention of the local coins issued by the provincial feudal lords, the daimyos. This coinage includes both precious gold, silver and base metal, bronze, iron and lead and comes in a variety of shapes and designs. Some of the best known provincial issues in precious metal are the silver covens of Akita, province of Dewa, and those from Yamagata province. Here you can see the Akita Koban and Half Koban, both made in 1863, the third year of Bunkyu, with oblong shapes like the Koban but made in silver, with its legal weight stamped. 9 monme 2 bu and 4 monme 6 bu respectively. There's also silver bu from Akita. The date of this coin isn't known, but must be also from the 1860s. Some gold issues such as the 3, 2 and 1 bu from Kikuzen are also known. Amongst the commonest of the local Sen of Edo period, we have the iron one mon of Sendai, 1784, and Hakodate, which is in the northern island of Hokkaido, cast from 1856, and also the large issues of the powerful Satsuma clan for their possession, the kingdom of Okinawa. These include the Ryukyu Tsuho, copying the official oval shaped Tenpo Tsuho, 100 mon coin, and the scarcer round half shoe. Probably the most emblematic feudal issue is the Tsuba Zen from Akita Domain, cast in 1862 in the shape of the Tsuba or hand guard of the katana of the local lord. Another unusual coin from the same domain and year is the so-called Nami Sen 
with a pattern of 21 NAMI engraved as the only design. The lead square and oval shaped pieces cast in Yonezawa, 1866, and many others. Most of these coins were issued in the late Edo period. An unusual category is that denominated Esen, which can be roughly translated as a picture coin. These pieces are actually not coins, but more often amulets, gambling tokens, and pleasure items. The private origin is obvious. Here you can see a couple of them from my own collection. This one, with the man and the horse and the legend Yoshida, is a popular type. Yoshida, in the province of Mikawa, was a celebrated place for the manufacture of Esen. This one is probably a Ku Eikisen, the gambling token. And last but not least, we have the Hansatsu, the local feudal and private paper money of the Edo period. These notes, or rather script, in the shape of elongated cardboard tags, are often the oldest banknotes to be found in many collections since some varieties exist in large quantities and are quite affordable. The first Hanzatsu were the so-called Yamada Hagaki, and the first appeared around the year 1600. They were nominated in silver by weight, were issued by Shinto priest were also merchants in Ise Yamada, present-day Mie Prefecture. The use of Hansatsu rapidly spread throughout the kinky area in the early part of the 17th century. Soon, many merchants and feudal lords issued their own script, backed by silver, gold, copper coins or rice. The notes come in a variety of sizes, colors and designs, printed by the traditional block printing method with devices such as Daikoku, the god of prosperity, a samurai on horseback with his weapons, a tiger, a phoenix, and many others. But not all of Hansatsu is readily available and affordable. Perhaps the most remarkable was the Hansatsu of the Asano Daimyos of Akko. The fall of this house was the trigger of the drama of the 47 Ronin the most famous samurai story of all time. They were issued from 1690 to 1701, when the clan was disbanded. In the 1941 movie 47 Ronin by Kenji Mitsoguchi, one of the main concerns of Oishi Yoshio, Chamberlain to Lord Asano Naganori after his master performed seppuku in compliance with the shogun's order was to recall and pay all the scripts circulating in the domain at the best possible rate, saying that the populace should not suffer for the fall of the house of Asano. Eventually, nearly all script was redeemed at the rate of 60% of its face value, and only five notes are known to survive today. The ones you see here, a silver 10 monme and a silver 2 bu, are in private hands. They have been declared cultural property of Hako City in year 29 Heisei Air, that is 2017, and replicas of both are kept in the city museum. After paying his master's debts, Oishi led the attack of the 47 Ronin against Lord Kira Yoshinaka to avenge Asano. This done, they surrendered to the authorities, and they were all allowed to commit seppuku.